enter earned schedule. So what is earned schedule and what does it do for me? Earned schedule is an extension of earned value management. It uses many of the same things that we're used to seeing. So it uses planned value and it uses earned value and um, it uses those two in the calculations. But it also is helpful to look at the normal earned value indicators, some of the things we just saw alongside the earned schedule indicators. The nice thing about earned schedule is that it you don't need any additional data. So if you're already doing earned value and you have your um, schedule set up for earned value, it's not too much of a stretch to start calculating earned schedule. Okay, it uses the same earned value management data. One of the great things about earned schedule is that the values, the indicators are measured in terms of duration. So you can see, you can get answers like earned schedule is 10 weeks or um, estimate, your estimate to, complete, to completion is 12 weeks uh, or 12 months, depending on whatever time period you're using. So that helps us understand better what the projected finish is going to look like. So we already said that some of the earned value management indicators fail for late performing projects, but the earned schedule indicators are reliable. They stand up properly when projects are late and past their deadline. Okay. They measure how the project actually performed in the past and forecasts future time performance. So this is one of the main reasons that earned schedule is really great. Okay, so how do we calculate earned schedule and what is the main idea behind it? Okay, well, let's look at this graph and let me put up a couple things here. I try to give you sort of a word reasoning approach. So like if we could talk about what earned schedule is in words, um, what would you do? How would you describe it? Well, you know, like earned value, we always say like, I earned this much, but I should have earned this much. I'm either earned more or less than I should have. Earned schedule is almost the same thing, but it's in terms of duration. Okay. So I'm performing my work and I'm either ahead or I'm behind or I'm exactly on plan. I'm here, AT, you're going to see AT used a lot. That's actual time. Okay. So basically think of it like your data date. Here's my status. Boom. Now here I am at my status date. But when I look at my baseline, I should have accomplished the stuff I'm doing right now, like this week, I should have accomplished it last week. Okay. So basically my earn schedule says earn schedule this earn schedule at this moment is last week's work. So today I've only earned up to where I should have been last week. Okay. Some of the word smithing. By today, I've earned schedule up to the value I should have attained last week. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, so if it doesn't make sense, don't worry. We're going to work it through and we'll figure it all out, okay? ES, earned schedule is a measure of accomplishment. And it goes from zero to budget at completion as the project progresses but it does so not in dollars, it does so in, uh, sorry, <laughs> I got mixed up there. Earned value goes from zero to budget at completion. ES goes from zero to planned duration, okay? So the total duration of the project, we're calling PD, planned duration. We go from zero to the planned duration of the project. Okay. Here's how, here's how earned schedule works, okay? And actually, I'm just going to flip back up, flat, flip back here and say here, this is from Walter Lippe's, Lippe's slides. The main idea here is to determine the time at which earned value accrued should have occurred, 
okay? And in equations, it means where did PV equal EV? All right, it's looking a bit weird, but let me, let me explain on the next slide and we'll see if we can get through this, okay? Hey, it's Michael again. I really hope you found this video helpful and just a quick reminder to let you know that we have some amazing Primavera P6 courses at plantacademy.com and we offer full support for those who take courses with us. So we're here to help you answer your questions and let you succeed with Primavera P6.